Yes, baby dolls, I'm propped up in bed. Y'all know I have remitting, relapsing, multiple sclerosis, and um, a marathon one. It wore me out, even though I wasn't on panel up there with those beautiful people raising net over $30,000 for our baby Summer Moon Utah Wells, the reward fund at Civis Bank, 210 West Main Street, Rogersville, Tennessee. We'd love it if you'd just write them a check and send it to them. Make sure that you designate that it's for Summer Moon Utah Wells Reward Fund. But um, some people, I told y'all early on that as time went by, I'd tell you more about myself. I don't know if you've seen this in any of my interviews, so I'm going to tell you now. Briefly, trigger warning. In the early 1960s, after my father died in the 50s, my mother owned a diner. And um, they were building a new elementary school in our town. Not this town, another town. And the crew came in from all over Arkansas, maybe even other places. Who knows? Maybe Tennessee. And um, because uh, my mother opened really early in the morning before daylight, a lot of those men would come into the diner to eat, have their coffee. Alongside my mom's best friend, Jack Gregory, who was the sheriff of Baxter County, Arkansas. He was a good guy. Bill Maines, awesome law enforcement man. Anyway, <clears throat> one of the men named Wallace Ratcliffe was uh, a painter on that on that job. And somehow or another, I don't know how, because I was a preschooler. Well, about to start the first grade. No, actually, I was in the first grade. Ah, uh, they hooked up with each other. And I don't know, because I was little, I don't know, passage of time at that time. And so this guy would wait till my mother got up before daylight to start her day of work. And then he would lift up the sheets at the bottom of my bed and crawl up underneath from the bottom of the bed, the foot of the bed. It went on for two years. I saw him drag my mother out of my bed where she was laying with me by her ankles, throw her on the floor, stomp her in the back, stomp her in the face. Yeah, I was drunk. My mother was a teetotaler. She never did drink. And she didn't like people who did. I wasn't the people who was the drinking. Anyway. <clears throat> she carried me out of that house in the middle of the night in lime green baby doll pajamas. Pajamas with blood streaming out of her face down onto me. I can still see his face banging on the passenger side window of a 1955 Ford Fairlane. Screaming how he was going to kill us. So we hid. When I was 21, and still in the, or getting started in the entertainment business as a professional vocalist. Unknown to me, a man followed me home to my apartment 
I fell asleep on the sofa. He broke a window. My mom had already left. She had been there babysitting. I was a single mother, divorced, with a three-year-old son who's now in his 40s. That man came into my apartment and he raped me all night long, telling me if I made a peep, he would kill my sleeping child in the next room. That man's not alive anymore. He went to prison. He didn't make it in there. You need to be careful who you fuck with, you nasty scum men, most of you. Because some of us grow up to be me. Donald Wells. Jeannie, Mary, Trish, Jody Sue, Susan Brewer is lip locked no more. And you molesters and rapists, the law enforcement will take care of you or somebody else will.